when you start out in enshrouded you're gonna kind of be walking down a path like this into a plains clearing that's gonna look something like this and the location you're gonna be at is gonna be right here in this big plains area next to a fort type place called the long keep and what a lot of people do is they just kind of slap down their base somewhere off the side over here or they dig into a rock and just build a little hovel or whatever but there is something that is very important to note a resource you're going to want a ton of early game and then also as you scale up into the mid game and that is going to be this resource that you see over here in slot eight on my hot bar in water now what we see here with water is it is going to give us not only endurance but also stamina recharge so this is going to be an amazing consumable for you to be constantly consuming that way you can traverse the map a lot easier and just play a lot better in general because in these games if you're trying to progress fast and get around you definitely need stamina so it's going to be a great third food source you can see there up on the top left i've got my two different food sources and then when i hit eight now i am going to be consuming water and i'm gonna have to do that every 10 minutes while i'm traversing to keep those bonuses live and having the extra stamina is going to be a huge boost to me early game but the problem is you can't just kind of get this water automatically until later in the game when you accumulate the ability to build a well in your base. So my advice to you in this video for your first base location is try to build over here a little bit closer like you can see we did with our level 3 home here early game. A little bit close to long keep because what's going to happen is there is a well right here that you can get water from very, very reliably and also very often. It actually refills pretty fast so what we did here with our first base is we kind of put our first structure and all of our npcs and our workbench and everything right here next to this well that spawns in long keep because like i said early game you can't really produce this at your base and this isn't a game like valheim or something where there's rivers and ocean and water everywhere for you to either process or gather your only source of getting this water early game is going to be either looting it out in the world which is not going to be reliable for you to have enough to be constantly drinking every 10 minutes especially if you've got other friends on the server with you so being close to this well is going to really help you maintain that stack of 100 and you can actually scoop up this water about every five minutes or so it, it does refill pretty fast and hitting e to collect water is going to give you five water you can see there i had 99 and then i filled up to 100 and got this other stack of four over here so what you can do is depending how long you've left this to recover you can go ahead and scoop this once twice whatever until it's completely empty you can see we haven't scooped water in a while so i'm going to be able to do three gatherings right now which means i'm going to gather 15 water right here and now it's going to be empty and it needs some time to recharge but honestly it gets all three of those 15 available water i haven't tested it like down to the minute but it seems like it's about one in-game day for the well to completely fill up with that 15 available water so you can be coming here like every five ten minutes and at least getting some water and what it's going to do is enable you to have enough water and keep up stacks of 100 to be able to constantly have that endurance and stamina bonus that will be vital for you to have there while you're traversing and by the way, if you ever want to see these status effects that are currently live, you can hit the N key to pull up your character. And then you can see down here, it's got my three foods labeled and then my rested bonus and everything. Status details right here will show you the liquid bonus I've gotten from the water of the plus two endurance and stamina recharge. And this is what I'm saying is very important because it's actually going to be a lot easier for you to farm things like the red mushrooms and the wolf meat because you can run around kind of killing them constantly as you're exploring but water not so much you're gonna have to kind of keep that in mind when you're placing this first base if you want to be able to guzzle down water with you and your friends constantly because not only is it harder to find but also the bonus is only gonna last for 10 minutes total and there's all sorts of other content that I want to get covered about this game beginner pro tips and tricks and things I wish I would have known and different base locations and secrets that I want you to be aware of while you're trying to progress in enshrouded as fast as possible and what build and everything to work on I was traveling this weekend so I'm just now getting back to the grind here but this was something I definitely wanted to get out on the channel because I know a lot of people are curious about 
where in the world do I place my first base? Is this first open plains area that I come across the most ideal location? And it's honestly, it's fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. Even if you do place your base kind of in this normal first plains area, you can always walk over here close to long keep and be able to access this well perfectly fine. But I do want you to take note of that early game and be drinking water consistently because you're gonna not even notice it, but you're gonna be able to run a lot more gather a lot more and play a lot more effectively if you're able to keep that water third liquid source of the boost to endurance and stamina up permanently so yeah remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy survival content like this with enshrouded and i appreciate you i'll see you soon in the next video peace